salad suitable for your hamster. Hope you enjoy. So this is going to be made out of three simple ingredients. Broccoli, some spinach and an apple. Let's get started. To start with, I'm going to get this piece of broccoli, put my bowl over here, get my chopping board. I'm going to just rip some of the plastic so it's available to me. Come on, piece of broccoli. Do me proud. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut it off like this so it's like this and then you can just break it into pieces and then put it in your bowl which is over here by the way next it doesn't smell exactly nice but okay next i'm gonna just put these over here and there we go next i'm just gonna get some of the kale yeah, spinach, yes, yeah, same thing. So, and then you're just going to slice it in just bits. Then, just going to get some spinach, put it in here, and then just cut a few more leaves. Then I'm just going to pick the chopping board up over and put it over here. Now I've got a spool roll, so this is probably going to make a bit of a mess. Next, I'm going to get my peeler because um, hamsters aren't allowed to have the like skin of an apple and they're not allowed the um, seeds inside. So, first, I'm going to pick the apple. Here. Probably gonna take a while. So, as every good cooking show says, here's what I prepared earlier. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna top and tail it. So that just means I'm gonna chop the top off, I'm gonna chop the bottom off. So now we have no skin whatsoever. And that should go in as a bit. Next, I'm going to cut here and then just cut straight down. Cut straight down, cut straight down, and cut straight down. Now what I'm going to just make sure I do is just cut this one a bit because as you can see it could still have tiny bits of seeds in and hamsters aren't allowed that. So there. And then this I'm just going to cut into smaller pieces to get the most out of my apple. Oh no, that's a bit much over here. And we could bend it. Next, I am going to. Oh, that's another piece of rubbish. Uh, I'm going to put all my apple in here and then get another bowl. Big bowl though. Put all of this in here. And then come over to my sink. Put the bowl. Gonna have this issue again, Mr. Sink. Okay, okay that's gonna do that. So and while I just let it do its thing, I'm just gonna wash all of this to make sure it's all nice and clean. And then I'm gonna tip all the water out. And just making sure that every bit is washed. Because otherwise it could get covered as well. Okay, so next I'm just going to quickly just make sure there's no more water. No! That's going to have to be in. No more water whatsoever. Um, bring this over here. And now I might actually go and search for another piece of fruit to add this as, because right now it's just like, sort of yellow because it's the apple. And then it's just like kale and broccoli, which is all great. So um, 
Yeah, let me just go find something else. Okay, so next I've got one tomato, baby plum tomato to be exact. And because these are more of a treat pounces, I'm only going to put one in and slice it into very small pieces. So he's going to have to forage for this. Because Coco, he loves foraging. So let's start cutting. I hate tomatoes though, so yeah, I'm not liking this, but for the hamster. It's a good thing we're totally safe with knives. Um, I'm going to go and bin this end part because it's got a bit of bad stuff on. And I'm just going to cut this big bit into smaller pieces. And I'm going to put that in the bowl. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Now I'm quickly going to be washing my knife. Without getting it, all the stuff everywhere. And my chopping board. To get all like the tomatoes, like insides off of it. Okay, so now I'm going to get a few seedless grapes because they can't have seeds as previously mentioned. So I'm just gonna cut. Uh, this doesn't want to cut. Then I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna just get a few more grapes. Okay, so I've added more grapes and I'm just gonna mix it all up. And then I'm going to get the small bowl so I'm not mowing that later for using such a big bowl in my hamster cage. I'm going to put all the lovely salad items in here. And then I'm just going to quickly cut some of the big bits like into the small bits. Because obviously he won't be able to take the massive bits. Come on, you apple. And then I'll leave one big bit in there because then he gets to try and eat an entire big bit. And then it might not look appetizing to humans, but you know, because hamsters, they this is like a big treat and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna leave this in there for like, uh, with a bit of water in for like a day or like a few days because with water, hopefully, none of this will go off. But I will like check, and of course, because it's so much. So let's go and see how he enjoys it. Now, I'm going to put his bowl in here. Oh no, hitting things. So now it's where his tunnel was. Good put it there so he doesn't move it. And now I'm going to watch him and then hopefully he's gonna explore. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to like leave him for a bit, just with the time lapse on because as you can tell. He's now really interested in just walking around, which is annoying. Or I'm just actually no, not going to do times that. But as you can know, he really likes his broccoli. Oh. Um, but he does love just. Also, disclaimer: the reason I put it in a china bowl um, is because he just likes it in a china bowl. So keep it with him. Um, but as you can see now, he's being so cute just sitting here. Hi. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Selfie, like, vlogging. It's really hard, because I can't see the screen at the moment. You like your food? Yeah. Then what are you going to choose to get? And it's all gone yellow for you. 
So yeah, A E lock. Why is that on my screen? Okay, so that's quite weird. But um, so I am going to say a goodbye now, and um, yeah. So bye. Please um, like and subscribe. Go and look at our other videos. I'm probably going to add some on like the cards at the end of this. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.